we are looking at the two guys that Joseph has just now met, and we never hear their names. We just know their titles. And there's so many times in our life that we know people, and we may know them more about what they do than by who they are. God really wants us to dive into who they are. These two men, the cupbearer and the baker, are very important figures in this kingdom because they are the cupbearer and the baker for Pharaoh, who is the head of all the kingdom. And so when they sit down and have these dreams and share them with Joseph, it's up to Joseph to interpret them. So he starts with the cupbearer and he goes through the whole dream and basically at the end of the dream he tells the cupbearer, hey, everything is good, you're going to be fine, Pharaoh's going to release you and all is good and that's what we're here for. And that many times is where we are. We want to hear the good news and we only want to hear the good news. Now think about this for a second. If you are not a believer, if you are not a person who is resolved with God, wouldn't you want to hear some good news when it comes to eternity? Because good news is an interpretation which also means gospel. So if you were to interpret gospel into our language, it would mean good news. When is the last time then that we took the gospel, the good news to someone who needed to know the good news? They're searching, they're hungry, they're dreaming about it, they're wishing they had that. They want to know that they can be resolved with God. And you know what, they can be but it's gonna take people like you and people like me that are willing to share that good news with them. So they don't have to worry about dreaming about heaven. They can know that they have it for sure. Think about that and pray about it because God's putting someone on your heart right now that you know and that I know needs to hear that good news and we'll see you tomorrow.